Do you know what this picture is trying to convey? Yes. It is showing the need for us to shift from non-renewable to renewable sources of energy before it is too late. A lot of awareness is being created about the pollution cost and the rising depletion of non-renewable energy like coal, petroleum and so on. The alternative sources of energy which the whole world is looking forward are biogas, hydel, solar and so on. There is immense potential if we can harness power from solar energy entering the Earth's atmosphere. Yes, a project is about harnessing solar energy using perovskite solar cells. Having briefed you with the area on which we are working, let me introduce you to the team that is working on it. This is our guide, Mr. Chandrasekhar, Assistant Professor, Center for Nanotechnology, NI Mysore. This is Mr. Ravi Varma and Vipul Somanda. Final year students pursuing their bachelor's degree in Electronics and Communication Engineering, NI Mysore. This is Shravan Estrai and Harish, pre-final year students pursuing their bachelor's in Electronics and Communication from the same college. There was an evolution of humankind from Stone Age to Modern Age and there was a point where there was a revolution in the history of mankind when electricity was discovered. This electricity slowly sank into the, our lifestyle and became an inevitable part of it. It so happens that nowadays we can't even imagine ourselves without electricity even for an hour. Solar cells is one of the ways in which electricity can be extracted from solar energy. Long ago, silicon solar cells has come into the market and has been a dominating position. But due to its high cost and lower lifespan, majority of the population couldn't afford it. Well, to meet this particular problem, we have come up with a solution of using a different material instead of silicon which has a lower cost and also a longer lifespan. The device which we are going to fabricate is perovskite based solar cells. Perovskite is the organic and inorganic absorber material which is used in our solar cells. This is the structure of a solar cell where the absorber material is sandwiched between electron and hole transport layer has already started giving us an efficiency of around 21% which points out to the fact that in the coming future it is pretty sure to replace the silicon solar cells and dominate the market for many more years to come. As there is energy crisis, there is a definite shift of interest towards alternate source, alternative sources of energy. Here we can see that in many ways a product is better than the existing product in the market. As middle class people constitute majority of the population in the world, they would surely be willing to invest in a product which is quite affordable. There is a huge market where a product will definitely dominate and give huge and give great margins of profit for investors as well as the producers. When a survey was made on the trends in the market, it was observed that there is a huge increase in the demand for thin film solar cells, which indicates the huge potential available if we invest on thin film production. When we interacted with the people from different communities, it was found that they were reluctant in installing in installation of solar cells, thinking of the high investment. But when they were amazed but they were amazed with our solution and were willing to install a product immediately after a product is into the market. Such responses really made us feel that our products will sustain for a longer time and revolutionize the solar cell market. 
if we do bring such a device into the market, I'm pretty sure that along with being accessible to the majority of the population, it will also play an immense role to create awareness in the society such that there is a drastic change to start using clean, renewable energy extensively in all sectors. By set up, setting up such solar panels, there is also a setup of small production unit at every house level. These are the instruments which are available in our laboratory which helps in building a product. A sputtering and thermal equipment. It is used mainly for aluminium deposition and also perovskite and copper iodide layers. A solar simulator which helps us uh, examine the functionality of our solar cell and also for the efficiency studies. Atomic force microscope, or scanning electron microscope, and X-ray diffractometer. It's used for morphological studies of all the layers of our solar cell. Here is a video of one of the pr uh, processes in one fabrication, which uses magnetic stirrer. With this, we can say that. The major source of energy in this century will be the renewable sources of energy and building a device to harness it is quite a great thinking towards success. Thank you.